All right, guys. Sorry, this is something I just found out on the fly here. Okay, bear with me. I'm gonna get right into it. Um, I just found out that there's an actual fucking cult that's recruit like scamming veterans. Just right now, it's been happening for the last couple of years. I don't know why the fuck I just found out about it, but there's one operating locally here in San Antonio. <clears throat> I got the phone number, House of Prayer Christian Church. The church is about a mile and a half, couple miles away from the local airbase. I'm gonna call them. Let's see what we get. Okay, go figure. No answer. All right, so what happened this morning is I got a text from my boy Israel number one. I'll read the text back What? how the text started. He sends me a TikTok, right? And it's the lady's name is Margo on TikTok. That's the channel name, okay? So if you guys haven't seen her, go and follow her. She's part of a true crime community. My boy says, do your thing, bro. <clears throat> I'm like, I didn't watch the TikTok size in the middle of some things, but after I watched it, FBI raided some army churches by army installations. Last profit is scamming the VA and taking veterans benefits and doing bank fraud and mortgage fraud. I put the fucking upset emoji and shit. A legit real insane cult preying on vets. During several post 9-11 GI bills and made some you and made some of us homeless. Um he says, I think you've got a top a new topic for the channel, which I think this is a good one to go after. Fucking scamming military veterans? How much more fucking lower does it get than that? Really? It makes me wonder. If the feds can raid these motherfuckers, okay? Why the fuck don't they raid David? He's doing the same fucking thing that the fucking these guys are doing right now. What the fuck? What's the disconnect? What the fuck is the disconnect with it? I don't understand. They'll fucking go raid the church because they're scamming veterans, but hey, we'll go ahead and let the fucking normal people get fucked over. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? House of Prayer Christian Churches, okay? Um, I did find him. There was one busted in Colleen, Texas. Okay. Here's the news article. It's by Lauren Dodd, Herald Staff Writer. The Assembly of Prayer Christian Church, 1013 Massey Street, was seen Thursday afternoon. An alleged cult. This is a fucking cult. Let's, let's take the word of alleged out of these cults from now on, okay? If the dynamics are there, it's a fucking cult. Let's stop just saying... Alleged, okay? Because we all know at this point that these places are full-blown fucking cults with what they do. This is prime example. And again, the feds will raid this guy, but they won't go touch David. They'll let fucking normal people get fucked over. But hey, once it's the veterans, hey, we got to do something about it because it's, it's, it's government money, right? And here's the other thing. Let's get this out of the way real quick. Whatever veterans make, if somebody knows the disability rate of a veteran, they, uh, anybody can go online and see how much that veteran's pulling in a month. And they can be like, oh, this fucking money, fucking cash cow. These aren't the only ones, guys. There's more, and I'm going to fucking find them, and I'm going to fucking go hard on them. These, these, these fucking cults, they need to be, they, they need to stop. They need to fucking stop, because here's the thing. Let me finish the article, then we'll talk about what possibly a holy war could fucking lead to with this type of activity, okay? I'm kind of crunk about this, man, because I'm a veteran, dude. I'm a disabled veteran, guys. I fucking support the veteran community. This is a shout-out to all the veterans out there, anybody in the veteran community that might be a, a survivor of this. Hey, come to us. We're here to help you, okay? Do not... Any veteran that's getting recruited by a fucking church, don't go, okay? Please don't. Please, please don't. If, you're, if you feel you're being recruited by a fucking church for some bullshit and they're starting to ask you for benefits, it's a cult, Okay? Veterans, do not give up any of your fucking money to these people. You have worked too hard to fucking, to just give this money up, okay? I would never do this. And I get why you do it. I, I understand. You want to believe in something higher, and I get that. But these people are there to manipulate, lie, and fuck you over, man. Don't do it. Don't do it. Law enforcement officials confirmed Thursday the Assembly of Prayer Christian Church, 1013 Massey Street in North Colleen, was raided by the FBI Thursday morning. So this was, what are we at? So last Thursday it was raided. In an email Thursday, FBI Special Agent Carmen Portillo said the FBI was ex executing court-authorized law enforcement activity today. 
Thursday in the vicinity of the intersection of Massey Street and East Rancier Avenue in Killeen, Texas. And Killeen is bit by, by a big military base. The one I just found, it's right here next to a big military base. Right? Tactics, this is how they're getting them. Getting right next to the military base. Hey, we're going to fucking recruit you. We'll talk about that in a second, though. Portillo could not provide additional information about Thursday's event. They're getting money. Something's going on here. Dozens of Google and Facebook reviews of the Clean Church refer to it as a cult with the habit of recruiting Fort Hood soldiers. There's one right here in San Antonio, everybody. Beware. Okay? I've already looked up the address. Let me, I'll give I'll put the address out once I'm done reading this article. According to the 2020 correspondence from the nonprofit Veterans Education Success to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs Oversight and Accountability Department, Assembly of Prayer Church in Clean is part of a larger group of House of Prayer Christian churches with Bible seminary locations in Tacoma, Washington. Fayetteville, North Carolina, which is a big fucking military. That's where the 82nd is. I was stationed. I, I was an 82nd, guys. That was my first duty unit. I was airborne status. My first duty. My first tour. Okay, I know all about Fayetteville. It, it's, it's military. Just around the outside of military bases, guys, are fucking dirty, dude. They're fucking ghetto as fuck. Promise you. And anybody that's in the military will say, "Yep, yeah, that's fucking true." Same here with Lackland. Got fucking Fort Sam here in San Antonio. Everywhere around military bases are dirty, which makes it fit for these fucking sacks of shit like this cult to go in and start fucking recruiting military members right off the base, right? Some with PTSD, mental health issues, probably missing limbs, shit like that, real fucked up issues, coming back from combat, you know? Real shit, guys. Feds are quick to raid them. Why don't they raid David now? Be nice, right? Tacoma, Washington, Fayetteville, North Carolina. Hepzibah, Georgia, I think is what it is. Yeah, Hepzibah. And Hinesville, Georgia, which are all military bases. According to the Augusta Chronicle, three churches in Georgia, two outside of Fort Gordon and Fort Stewart, were raided by the FBI also. Hepzibah and Hinesville are located outside Fort Gordon and Fort Stewart, respectively. Veterans Education Success, an organization that provides free legal assistance to veterans and military-connected students in higher education, relayed complaints to the VA in 2020 from more than a dozen former members of Georgia House of Prayer Christian locations. Almost all who were veterans, and they alleged that the House of Prayer, HOPCC, deceives VA during inspections and targets veterans in order to access GI Bill funding. This is why the government got involved, because it's government money. Once it's, innocent, once it's money from innocent people, the government doesn't give a fuck. But hey, once it's government money, the government's going to step in and be like, no, no, you can't do that. That's our money. Right? But when it comes to innocent people, like people in David's cult, it's okay. VA Disability Compensation, and VA Home Loans, the nonprofit's complaint states. The Veterans Organization asked the VA to investigate the churches, and it found to be in violation to disapprove House of Prayer Christian churches of future GI Bill funding. Why the fuck are these people funding these fucking churches? Anyway? Why is the government funding a fucking church? Why the fuck is the Veterans VA funding a church? They don't need to be funding churches like this. What the fuck? That's what it says here. The Veterans Organization asked the VA to investigate the church and if found to be in violation to disapprove House of Prayer Christian Church of future GI Bill funding. Holy fucking shit. The nonprofit states church members felt pressured into paying their disability compensation to the churches as tithes. Also, members told the nonprofit they kept students enrolled perpetually without providing an actual education, which David, David does that too. Guys, see all the similarities here? Why does the feds do shit about David? What the fuck, man? Come on, FBI, get your head out of your ass and do the fucking right thing. Jesus Christ, man. What does it take? What does it take? What does it take? Something happened. Something happened here for the feds to get involved this quick and fucking start raiding them. They must have been doing a really tight-lipped investigation about it. Sometimes swapping class, uh, class time for washing church leaders' cars, recruiting students, or providing free labor, volunteer labor. Recruiting students told the nonprofit was called soul winning. Okay, so recruiting is called soul winning. Okay, five days a week, individuals are paired up and sent out to recruit new members on around military bases, always with somebody. Right. Former ceremony students also alleged, also allegedly told the nonprofit if they were instructed to lie to the VA during inspections. I'll guarantee for sure, they were. <clears throat> a request to Fort Hood commented Thursday has yet to be returned as of Monday evening. So. We're, what, uh, Wednesday this week, so nothing's been returned as of Monday. The Assembly of Prayer Christian Pastor in Colleen has refused to speak about the investigation. Okay. 
I'm going to read some of the comments that people left. And this comment was from, uh, it looks like kdhnews.com. I'm going to say this is the clean, uh, let's see. KDH News, I don't know if it was clean or what. But there's comments at the bottom too. This one's from Jonathan76542. When will people learn? Religion is a modern day business in our times. You're fucking absolutely right, Jonathan. Whoever you are, this is a great comment. They spend a lifetime indoctrinating for mind control, which will lead to your money. I know churches are nying pastors $70,000 escalates as compensation in addition to regular financial compensations. Tithes in the Bible was recognized as giving crops, tithes, seeds, one-tenth of your seed store to the fucking pastor. Not money, food. To sustain the pastor so he could continue preaching the word of God. Not money. <laughs> to help the community and poor. We are a long way from that intention. But look around. What person or business in this area is preying on military money and benefits? Or what, what, <laughs> let me rephrase that. What person or business in this area isn't preying on military money and benefits? Yep. This church should have been truthful in not being untrustworthy to their church's members or anyone else. I'm so happy the FBI got involved. I would like the FBI to get involved with David. Fucking be real nice. <laughs> They're doing the same fucking thing, man. Same fucking thing. They are scamming government assistance for people. Same fucking thing. That's from G. J-E-E. -E. Another one. None of your biz. This was posted June 27th at 6.41 p.m. And I don't know what... Blab this was just on this website here. I'm, and I'm reading these comments because they're good comments. Um, I wonder when they will go after the other. A lot of these churches are reported and the higher the number of churches around a base is a big sign you have many cult and scam churches. Absolutely right. It's so easy to start a 501c3. I have the tax ID for a 501c3 right here. I just haven't applied for the documentation yet. It's really fucking easy. Um, I'm just happy the FBI has stepped up to take down one. When our own police department city leads, leaders turn to a blind eye to these types of predators. Yep. Yep. Okay. So let's talk about what this possibly leads to. Okay, so when you're recruiting military members, check this out. Anybody knows who Eric Prince is? Okay. Eric Prince was the founder of Blackwater. I don't know what the, I don't, let's see, let me see if I find the name of it now. I don't know if it's, it's, he's changed names so many fucking times. Um, they were ultimately mercenaries. They were religious. They were hype. They were really religious too. Christian. I think they're evan like evangelicals too. I'm not sure. They belong to like, they're very fundamental Christians, right? Okay. And Eric Prince starts this found, um, is a, a private military company. I read a book about it. It's really interesting. It's called uh, Blackwater, the uh, Rise of the Pow the World's Most Powerful Mercenary Army. And it's written by a man named Jeremy Scahill, S-C-A-H-I-L-L. -L. Basically what it talks about is how these guys, guys go out and they're basically warriors for God. Okay? Let's get off Eric Prince here. But now you got, you got these churches recruiting military members, right? Again, I don't know if Eric Prince changed the name. I'm sure he has. It's probably changed so many names. Again, when you start recruiting military members, now you have highly trained, highly motivated, highly disciplined members of a church. Now start fucking intermingling that with religion and God. Saying, hey, these people are against us. This group is against us. We need to shut them down. We need to stop them. So you got special forces. You got some ex-rangers in there. Ex-infantry. Weapon specialists. Now what do you have? You have a full-blown religious militia. <laughs> That's some scary shit, too, because here's the thing, guys. When you start looking into, into religious war crimes, okay? I've studied religious... I've, I've studied war crimes with, with where I studied history at. Religious war crimes are probably some of the most hardcore war crimes out there because those are the kind of crimes where it's like they'll cut the breasts off women and shit so they can't nurse their children. Like, really, if, you've, if anybody's seen uh, Tears of the Sun with Bruce Willis... They do that shit in real life, man. There's real people. You guys saw what happened with uh, Hotel Rwanda. That was a full-on genocide. Like, the way they were mutilating bodies, that's what, like, happens in holy wars, man. They do some fucked up shit to bodies, all right? Real shit. Again, you start tying religion in with this, guys, it gets real scary, okay? And I'm putting, this is kind of an emergency shout-out to the veteran community. Um, I know there's veterans on this channel. I share this story, guys. You have to share it. You're obligated to. If you're a veteran, you have to share the story. You're obligated to. You have to warn our fellow veterans, guys. You have to. 
right here, guys. I'm looking at you. Warn our fellow veterans about these people. Because this is where you could start getting into holy wars, guys. Not here in America. We don't need that. Not right now. We don't want a holy war. And that's exactly the route this type of thing could go. David's doing the same shit. David's doing the same shit. He ran a cult just like these guys are. And he's taking government assistance too. Again, why didn't they fucking raid David's ass? Really? They'll go out... <laughs> Calling the FBI out, man. You guys need to get your fucking heads out of your ass. Do your fucking job. The information's all here for you guys. What else do you guys fucking need to fucking raid these assholes and stop these people? Again, you'll raid, the, you'll raid it when it's, it's government assistance, when it's money coming from the government. But when it's innocent people... We don't want to do anything because it's innocent people, but hey, it's government money, so we're going to go ahead and do something about it. Fucking scams. I hate those. Anyways. Veterans. Veterans family members. Anybody that knows a veteran. Warn them, please. Warn them. Because it, it really, it really are. These churches around these little bases, around the, the military bases, they are. They're real fucking scummy. And if you got like 20 fucking churches right around one military base, there's probably a fucking scam going on, okay? Big time. I'm going to find out about the one here in San Antonio. And the one, they, they got a couple. I'm going to find out. It wouldn't surprise me, though, if the, if the feds are going to start raiding all these fucking churches around the military bases. So, again, I want to put a shout out to this. I'm comparing exactly what's going on to David, to what just happened here. What's What gives? Why, why aren't the feds doing the same thing with David? Because it's innocent people that it's, it's regular, just blue-collar workers. And they don't, government doesn't, it's like, oh, we don't care about them. They're just, eh. But again, government money, that's probably why the feds got involved. 